y'all what's up my name is Sonali welcome to a new vlog if you guys are new definitely hit that subscribe button and if you're already subscribed make sure your post notifications are turned on so you don't miss any of my vlogs slash videos um, today is a Friday I always try to make Fridays my content day so I wash my hair I put on makeup this is like literally the first time in so long um, I actually just did like a work week in my life kind of thing which I work my part-time job Monday through Thursday so I posted that already if you guys are interested in watching that but Friday is like when I try to focus on my other stuff like the YouTube and Instagram and everything like that um, but then Ryan asked me if I wanted to go to Two Hands and I literally cannot pass that up it's just this really cute cafe on South Congress here in Austin and they have the most delicious avocado toast that I literally crave all the time so I think I'm gonna have to go to Two Hands and hopefully I can create content later so hopefully I won't be out all day but sometimes when you go out of the house it's like for hours and hours you're just like oh we should go here we should do this we should run this errand or something so who knows I mean I can really always make like tomorrow content day but I do want to do the haul I was talking about in my last vlog my way fun boxing because I told you guys I would do it in the last video and I didn't um but I was like maybe I should just like do it when I have makeup on and I'm like presentable so I wasn't planning on like wearing my hair straight I was actually planning on curling it but then I was like I don't really have that much time so I just like blow dried it with the Dyson Airwrap the round brush and I love love the freaking Dyson Airwrap y'all like if I haven't said it enough it's truly a game changer and I heard it's out of stock everywhere but if I find it somewhere that's in stock I'll definitely link it down below also last night I did my nails and they are so cute try to focus for you guys how adorable are my damn nails i'm like shocked that i did this honestly don't look too close because you know there's some mess ups but for someone who is like not that artistic when it comes to like drawing or painting this is pretty good i tried to throw in some color i'm gonna try to add a little bit of color back in my life i don't know if you guys saw that TikTok I posted, it was like, um, I'll just post so it here. It's just really funny. Pissed. And I think some people oh actually God, like took it literally like, like I don't actually life. have color, which I do. I like definitely buy like greens and stuff like that. But for the most part, I like things to be neutral because I can keep them for forever and they really just don't go out of style for a while. But I do want to add a little bit more color back into my life, especially for springtime. Oh my god, it's 11 11. This is my manifestation minute, so give me a second. This is my outfit of the day. I have this jacket on from uh, Band of Gypsies, but I think it's out of stock, so that really sucks because I wanted to link it for you guys. But then I'm obsessed with this sweater from Abercrombie. It's such nice quality, honestly. I'm really, really glad I got it. I want more. Um, I think they don't have it in this color, but I think they still have the same style, and it's just like a really Cool texture kind of thing and then these pants are from Abercrombie definitely still in stock they're literally one of my favorites and then some Air Force ones all right Ryan's turn let's hear it these are Tom's these are 1961 denim or whatever DL Carhartt this is Lululemon not sure what the hat yet I don't know what I want to do I think the hat looks good we're on our way to South Congress and there's just like one random radio station 93.3 and they always play this song. It's their favorite song to play. And honestly, yeah, I'm not complaining. <laughs> um, it's sit next to me by Foster the People, but I swear every time I'm in the car, this song comes on. And being a videographer, when you choose music and you edit it for like, let's say a month or something, or like, you know, a week even, you kind of associate that song with like filming that video. This is definitely a song where that happens to me. Um, but I'm starting to get really, really hungry. I'm actually kind of glad we are eating later so that I can do the whole intermittent fasting thing. But the calorie counting thing, I started in the last vlog this, this past week and it's actually working. Well, obviously it's working. Now I just don't even like want to eat out because I'm like, oh my God, I'm doing so good. I don't want to like mess it up, but I feel like I'll be good at two hands.
like our late breakfast was delicious. I'm currently like in a food coma right now. I just need to like wake myself up because like I said, I wanted it to be a content day, but I kind of knew that would happen if I like went out for lunch, but whatever. I'm just trying to get back into it. Um, but I thought I would do the Waif haul right now. Um, Waif is sold at Nordstrom, I'm pretty sure. Actually, they're sold at other places too, but... I just wanted to show you guys what I got from them. First, we have this like peplum top. I thought it was like really unique because half of it's that smocked material and then half of it's just like, mm, I wouldn't call this linen, but I don't know. I really don't know how to describe it, but I thought it was like really cute and I thought it would uh, snatch my waist real good. Then I got this top right here and it's actually smocked in the back, um, but it has like a really cute sweetheart neckline. And then I thought this thing was really cool. This like loop-de-loop -loop thing um so i think that would be really cute for this summertime i think this is called the louisa padded shoulder and it's like a dress with a really cool slit on the side um so it's a long maxi dress just like with that padded shoulder trend and it's super freaking soft and honestly it looks kind of big i feel like i always go for larges and tops and dresses in general just because i'm heavier chested but sometimes I feel like I could actually pull off a medium and I just don't get it because I'm like too afraid that it's gonna be tight and I'd rather it be bigger than tighter I guess especially like when you're getting like PR mail I just like want it to fit you know so I don't know I feel like I should just actually take my measurements and like look at the size guide I definitely need to start doing that while we're here I do have some things to unpack from Amazon so let's see what I got okay I know what this is. Before I started calorie counting this past week, I started making like Nespresso's because Ryan bought an espresso I think last year or something and they have like the iced coffee thing So sometimes I'll drink that but I thought we needed a cute little sugar um, like glass jar to keep near the coffee machine because we have like this big sugar container, which is super cute. I love those, but they definitely should stay in the pantry. But I feel like every day if I'm using it, I don't want to like take out the big thing. So I thought this would be cute to just put near the coffee. I've been seeing this set on everyone's Instagram lately and every blogger has it. This is a two-piece set, long sleeve, super freaking cute. They have um, like the balloon sleeve style thing. And then it comes with these adorable shorts. And this comes in so many colors. So I will definitely link it. Um, it's on Amazon too. So super freaking cute. Can't wait to wear that. Um, I was going to get, I think they had like a more like nude color like this. I think I was going to get that one. But then I was like, I love like wearing like white so that my skin really stands out. When we were at Whole Foods yesterday, I actually saw this um, in the beauty section and I literally cannot remember where I heard about these things. Apparently this is chapstick that will literally change your lips forever. That's what they say. Um, so I'm gonna give it a try. It's called Coco Kind My Matcha. And it says it's like made with matcha, coconut oil, beeswax. Kind of want to smell it. I didn't realize it was matcha, even though it's like green packaging, but I love matcha. Okay, it definitely smells like matcha. Hmm. Oh. Oops. Got my lipstick on it. Feels good. And you can actually use this. It's an all-over moisture stick. And I'm pretty sure I've heard Coco Kind is like really good for any eczema. So it's not super cheap, but it's huge. I feel like it's triple the size of a normal chapstick. Um, and this was like, I want to say like $8, I think, for one. But you can find them at Whole Foods too. And I'll link those down below. So that is my little unboxing. I kind of thought I had more to do. But I did just get a notification about package in the office i think it was on thursday or wednesday i'm not sure but i posted a video about the reward style platform if you guys like are an influencer or want to be an influencer it's an affiliate marketing platform that you make commission off of the links that you provide people that are buying your stuff um so i made a video about that and it didn't get like a 
bunch of views, which honestly I didn't really expect it to, but I just wanted to say that if you guys are a small YouTuber, I definitely recommend doing videos that you want to put out because that was something I was really passionate about. I personally thought the platform was pretty confusing at first when I joined, so I wanted to help anyone out now that I have the knowledge to. So that video is super informative and I tried to put my heart and soul into it, but like I said, it didn't really do well and I'm trying to like be okay with that because there's some content that you kind of have to do for you know the viewers and maybe what's trending but there's also videos that you should do because you want to basically just don't get down on yourself if like a video doesn't perform well because there's gonna be more videos that you can make that do perform well. So I guess I'm just kind of rambling, but if you guys are a small YouTuber, maybe you just needed to hear that because I know sometimes it is discouraging, but you just gotta keep going, be consistent. I feel like I'm on a roll with vlogging lately. And if you guys have any other suggestions of what you wanna see in my vlogs, please comment that below because I feel like I'm starting to do the same kind of things. Like I'm always in my apartment and you know, like eating around Austin, but other than that, I don't know, I feel like I'm not really doing much, um, but you let me know what you guys wanna see or what you guys like to see on YouTube. Honestly, just video suggestions would be really great and helpful also. Oh my God, I don't think I even told you guys this, but the queen herself, Lauren Geraldo, creator of 12330, duetted me yesterday. I was like so freaking hyped and I'm gonna try to like really keep you guys updated on my TikTok about my 12 3 30 progress so if you guys are interested just go follow me on TikTok it's literally the same as my Instagram it's so underscore gnarly without the g I really want to like do more TikToks and literally just like do daily vlogs and like talk to you guys like this but I think it's like a little bit weird because I feel like people don't know me yet but maybe I just like have to start you know I'm honestly a big fan of TikTok and I don't know why I didn't get on it earlier because I was just being dumb. I filmed a lot of TikToks. It was like a series kind of thing that I'm doing that goes along with one of my videos, like the reward style video that I was talking about earlier. Um, but anyways, I got these super freaking cute drinks last night at Whole Foods. Like, look at them. They're so aesthetically pleasing. I love the packaging. And so I wanted to try it for you guys. And I'm actually gonna make a TikTok while I try it because I want to do like more TikTok vlogs. I feel like I said that before, but... I want to do more TikTok vlog type things and really show my personality. So I feel like this would be a good one. So I'm not really sure which one I should try. This is a matcha green almond latte. And then I have a Thai tea almond latte. And then this one is a vanilla cold brew almond latte. To be honest, I don't really love coffee. So this might go really bad. If it's not sweet, I'm probably not going to like it to be honest, so we'll see. Uh, it says it's dairy-free, no cholesterol, no refined sugar, super food enriched. And yeah, so it's got all the check marks and um, I think they run about like 150 calories each. I don't know which one to do. Which one should I do? I think we're gonna do the Thai tea. Let's do it, okay. It does taste like Thai tea, but there was like kind of like something like powdery. I don't know. Maybe I need to shake it up. Oh, yep. <laughs> yeah, it did say shake, shake, shake. So that's probably why. Much better. Much better. This is really good. Cute and good. Love that. I'm kind of curious to see what the matcha one will taste like because this tastes like Thai tea. I've just been needing some caffeine ever since I got home and it's already 4.19. I swear Fridays are like the fastest days because it's the days that I need the most time to create content and everything. I actually just asked you guys what day you wanna see vlogs go up on my channel and a lot of you guys said Sundays and honestly same, I love watching vlogs on Sundays, especially like week in my life. So I'm gonna try to do that more often if you guys like seeing them um, and then post them on Sunday, so that'll be fun but i'm gonna drink this and try to create more content good morning happy 
Saturday, as you can see, I picked up a bunch of packages in the office this morning. I actually went to work out and got all my packages then. So I thought we could do an unboxing. I'm sorry if you guys are so annoyed by all of my unboxings I'm doing lately, but we did have a winter storm here in Texas. So all of my packages were just in limbo. So I'm just now getting everything. The first package is from Briogia. So this is their shampoo. This is the charcoal shampoo. And then this one is their charcoal tea tree cooling hydration scalp mask. So you can buy Briogeo at Sephora. I'm not sure where else, but definitely Sephora. I'm currently using the shampoo and conditioner every single day, um, unless I use like head and shoulders because I went too long without washing my hair. But now that they've launched this one, I feel like this is gonna be so nice, especially for those days that I'm feeling like a little bit itchy and I just need some soothing on my head. Sometimes I see stuff online and I just immediately have to buy it. And that happened with this set from Skims. And I'm just like obsessed with zip up hoodie kind of things. So I got this sage green kind of color. It's like a ribbed kind of material. I'm not sure if you can see that, but definitely going to be wearing this like so often. And then I actually got the joggers as well. So it's kind of like a balloon um, style jogger. Let's see. Yeah. So that is super cute. I honestly thought it would be a little bit thicker, but it's kind of perfect for just chilling at home because it's not going to be too crazy hot. Next package is freaking so exciting because this is actually also from Skims, but they actually sent me this and I'm like shook, honestly. I've worked with them in the past to create um, just some like photo content for their stories and stuff. The girl I've been emailing with really liked my bra try on haul that I did, I want to say like, almost two years ago, maybe not. <laughs> it feels like so long ago, um, but they really liked that video. So they sent me over literally so much shapewear and they asked if I would want to do a try on haul with them. So I was like, yes, are you kidding me? Like y'all, I'm freaking working with skims. This is freaking awesome. I definitely manifested this. So I'm so psyched about that. Keep an eye out for that video because it's gonna be a good one. And then the last package, I know. <laughs> Ryan standing behind the camera, he was like, it's tiny. And I'm like, yeah, because I don't think this is the thing. I think it's just the accessories. Okay, this is the package I've been damn waiting for this whole freaking time. Hopefully you guys commented and guessed what it was on my last vlog. The hint was me getting bananas and they're like going bad, <laughs> waiting for this thing to come. Well, I guess we should just spoil the surprise, but I purchased a Vitamix. And I actually got some accessories to go along with it. So this is what that is. I'm still waiting on the damn Vitamix itself. It's been just in limbo for a while now, but I actually bought it like towards the end of the winter storm. So I thought it would be like, okay, by the time it came to Austin, I think it finally got into Austin like last night. So I think it should be here today, but it said it was gonna be here on like Wednesday. Then it was like Thursday. Then it was like, I don't know. <laughs> but anyways, I'm really freaking excited that I got this. It was a very, very big splurge, I will say. I told my mom this. I called her after I was kind of having buyer's remorse and she was like, no, that's like a really good purchase. Like you can use it for years and years and years. You can make so many things with it. I was like, thank you. You know, it was a good choice to call you to like justify my purchases for me. Um, so if your mom says it's okay that you bought a Vitamix, it's, it's okay, right? <laughs> Um, but I'm just like really proud of myself that I've been investing in like kitchen appliances like even my KitchenAid like yes I haven't used it as much as like, you know Some people do but it is so convenient when I do that It actually makes it so worth it and that thing is gonna last me like my whole life. I hope I hope so <laughs> But yeah, so hopefully this Vitamix is the same kind of deal and it definitely has a warranty and everything. So I'm really excited for the actual blender part to get here, but we are gonna go get dim sum today. I have been asking Ryan to come to Lynn Asian with me for so long. It's like such a good dim sum bar here in Austin, Texas. It's on the west side, right Ryan? Mm -hmm. And it's just so good. And Saturday and Sunday they have like their dim sum brunch. So it's a little bit cheaper. And there's just like the whole dim sum menu. So we're gonna finally go to that today. I made the reservation yesterday and so they only had a 10.30 and usually we would go at like a 11.30, 12, like more for a lunch thing. But I was like, I'm just gonna get in when I can because every other time we've gone, we would have to wait a little bit and I just like 
totally forgot that they did reservations. So anyways, I'm gonna stop chatting. I'm gonna probably post a few of these on my stories just to, you know, shout the brands out. And then I'm gonna go get my dim sum fix. But if you guys don't follow me on Instagram, definitely do so. It is so underscore gnarly without the G. And I'm really, really trying to be more aesthetic, be more real, try not to use as many filters and just show you guys more of my life, talk more on my stories. So if you guys want like real time updates and just like know me better, <laughs> you can go on my stories and follow me on Instagram. Just finished up at Lynn Asian and I'm so freaking full. But now we are gonna do just a couple of errands. Um, I decided that it is time to just take my lens into precision camera because unfortunately it does have a little bit of scratches on it. And when I'm shooting backlit, like when the sun is behind me and you're shooting a photo of me, there's like random sun flares that really shouldn't be there because of all the scratches. So I'm thinking maybe it's just time to take it in, see how much it costs. Um, apparently I have to send it in and that costs like money to send it in and, and then they can quote you from there because I called and tried to see like how much it would cost you know because it's not like a big deal um, but I was just like you know what I'm use this lens all the time it's like worth getting repaired um, and I'm just like not very good at keeping my camera equipment you know top notch or in pristine condition, which is so annoying of me. I really need to be better about using lens caps and I'm gonna try to from now on because it's just annoying that I have to like do this because I'll probably have to send it out for like six weeks, I think, or like eight weeks. Hopefully it doesn't take that long because grad season is quickly approaching, but obviously I have other lenses that I do love. So it's not gonna be a big deal if it doesn't come in time, but I just thought maybe I should just, you know, get it done and just, get it out of the way um so we're gonna go into precision camera and, and i've also been really intrigued by possibly getting a film camera but i'm just kind of like nervous ryan's mom actually gave me one but i don't know how to work it i've just been seeing so many other styles on like tiktok and they just look a little bit more easy to use so i'm gonna see if they have some film cameras here and like what they recommend for that and then we might hit up the domain to do a little shopping We'll see it's actually like kind of shitty weather and it's gonna rain for the next hour so i told ryan i was like we should go to the pga superstore aka you go in and then i'll take a nap in the car because i'm in a food coma right now it pops this open and you leave that open so you put the roll inside here and once the roll film roll is inside there you close it we went into precision camera and the guy said it was gonna be probably around like 500 to repair the lens and i was like oh i did not really expect that i thought it was gonna be like maybe 300 but i don't know we'll see i just sent it in and if i don't want to like actually repair it they can just send it back and i just have to pay 40 dollars for like the shipping and everything but i just thought you know that's my favorite lens and I just kind of have to like fix it. And guess what? The guy recommended that I use protection filters and I've never even heard of this thing. Like I was asking him, I was like, why wouldn't people use those? Because like, no, it's not like anyone has really recommended it. It's so weird. Uh, but I'm definitely gonna get like protection filters for all my lenses. Obviously that's just a really good preventative measure that's very affordable. So I'm gonna definitely do that, um, but then I asked one guy to show me film cameras and I was like really getting intrigued. I was this close to like buying one, but then I was like, okay, never mind because that's not realistic. I want like a more of a point and shoot film camera. If I do get a film camera, then I was looking online. And then the guy said this one like contacts T2 and it's like kind of expensive, but I'm just like, honestly, I don't know. I'm gonna like think about it a little bit more and then I like also looked up like some Leicas because me and Ryan have always wanted a Leica. It's just a really cool brand and it's kind of unique in a way. So I'm gonna look more into that when I get home. We actually decided to come to the domain to just like shop around, you know, kind of waste time. So I also want to find 
new white sneakers that are not as basic as my Air Force. I honestly love my Air Force ones and I wear them all the freaking time, but I just want something like a little bit more unique and one with like a bigger platform. So gonna be on the hunt for that too, but I don't really know if they have like any shoe stores like that. Like Nike's not here. We might have to like go somewhere else like the outlet or something, but Nordstrom yeah. has some. I don't think Nordstrom would have like like a big variety of um, Dick's Sporting Goods have pretty cool shoes. Oh, Dick's Sporting Goods. They don't have like, like they wouldn't have Air, like Air Max and 90s or anything. Yeah. Well, there seems to be a lot of people. Oh, also, um, ACL just announced that there's gonna have an ACL in 2021, which is actually kind of crazy, but literally gives me so much hope because that is like in October or something. So, you know. Things are looking up, y'all. I just took a fat nap in the car and we are now at South Congress because I am gonna be working with a company called Crew. It's like a sunglass brand. I'm gonna be making some Instagram stories for their sale coming up actually at the domain. So they are gonna gift me one pair of sunglasses. So I get to go in store and choose them, which is really exciting. So we're gonna go there now. Um, the store is like a little uh, like trailer setup. What, how would you say? What's that thing called? Yeah, yeah, trailer. Yeah, trailer um, on South Congress. It's right next to like Home Slice. We're in crew right now. I'm about to pick out my sunglasses. I'm really into like oversized frames just because I feel like my face is big and heavy. So I think these are like very bougie. And I like always like this like shape. I feel like my mom used to get these kinds and she loves oversized and I would always steal them. So I don't know, what do you think? Look mm -hmm. nice, yeah. This one's a little bit different, kind of gives me a little cool girl vibe. It was kind of hard picking out my sunglasses because obviously the mask situation, but I was able to like slide it down a little bit. But these are the ones that I chose and they are so cute. We are back home and before I get all comfy, I want to show you guys an outfit of the day. This whole outfit is from Waif. This and this is from Waif, so I'm pretty sure Waif is sold at Nordstrom. Then I got these cool sneakers on from Dr. Scholl's. So random, but they are super cute and I haven't really worn them very often, but I'm gonna start because they're really cute and comfortable. So perfect for a day of shopping. I'm literally so pooped, so now it is time to relax and hopefully edit a vlog because I need to get that up for tomorrow. Sunday, Sunday vlog day. It's 7 p.m. We've just been chilling. Um, I made like a TikTok, which I have to post. I forgot. I literally have like a reminder to post on TikTok every day at 6.30 because I feel like that's like a good time to post, you know? And I feel like if I post early in the day, I just waste a TikTok because no one ever sees it. So I am gonna post a TikTok now. I'm glad I remembered, um, but we are gonna go to like an Irish pub that Ryan's actually been to before. And actually, I think I got wings from their takeout, but we're gonna go there for dinner, have a little dinner on the patio possibly, and have a little date night. So I don't know how much I'll vlog. It'll probably be really dark and everything, but I'll try to show you guys my meal. Sunday morning and we are about to head out to a coffee shop. I think we're gonna hit up Alfred's. I already vlogged about it, but honestly the matcha was really good and the place is just so aesthetic and Ryan has to do some stuff on his computer and I have to finish up editing a vlog because I wanna start posting every Sunday and I'm not sure what other day of the week, maybe Wednesday, maybe Thursday. It might be like Wednesday, honestly, um, but for sure Sunday. So I wanna get up that vlog for you guys 
today. So I thought that would be a fun way to spend the day. I also have to send out a lot of contracts for grad season. It's coming up super soon. I'm gonna start shooting grads in like March. I think my first one is probably the second week of March. And um, honestly, I just recommend people taking their grad photos as soon as possible because especially in Texas, the Texas heat is not something you wanna deal with, especially when you're taking photos outside. I just feel so bad when my grads are like sweating and just like uncomfortable because they're so hot, you know? So I definitely recommend taking them in the spring or just like as close to like 75, 80 degree weather as you can because when it gets up to like the 90s here, it's actually so hot and just really not you know, the best time to take photos outside. So if you guys know someone or if you are a graduate in the Austin area, I'm doing seniors of high school and seniors of college. So if you guys are watching this and interested in finding out more about my rates, you can uh, contact me through my Instagram page, Sonali Productions, or you can go to my website, it's sonaliproductions.com, and you can put in all your information on a contact form there, and then I'll reach out to you from there. So super exciting um, to get started on grad season. It's like literally my favorite thing to shoot so I'm just really pumped about it but today's outfit is pretty simple I'm wearing like a Abercrombie bodysuit it's like a razorback thingy didn't really know what bra to wear with this and honestly I get questions all the time about what kind of bras I wear the one I'm wearing is a really really old random bra but I just have a butterfly clip that I bought off Amazon I can link it down below for you guys it's so helpful when you're wearing like razorback shirts and stuff so I have this bodysuit on and then I have my favorite zip up hoodie ever this is from shop red dress literally under $50 and it's in this super cute cream color and it also comes in a dusty blue color. We're going to head out, get some matcha, and start our day. We just got done at the Line Hotel. This time I ordered my matcha with some vanilla syrup in it. I didn't even know you could do that. Like last time they didn't say that. So I was hyped. It was actually really, really good. And I got a large this time because last time it was just so good and I wanted it to last forever. We got home and I immediately changed into my comfy clothes because I was just like so over those jeans. They have like a hole at the knee and it's like so hard to bend the knee without like ripping the strings on it. So I was like, I need to get out of these. But now it is time to do my Sunday cleanup. I try to do this like every Sunday just because I hate waking up. Oh, ow. I rammed my freaking leg into the coffee table, but um, I love doing it on Sundays because I hate waking up on Mondays to a dirty apartment. Like it's just annoying as heck because you want to get the week started off on a good note. The package has arrived. I honestly thought it was lost in the mail for a second because it was just like not updated. And at one point the tracking thing didn't even know where it was. I bought a Vitamix. I got it in white, and I honestly can't remember the specific model name, but I'll try to find it somewhere in here, this box. Ooh, we got a little cookbook recipe thing. Wow. Honestly, I feel like every other blender just comes with like a little brochure with recipes, but that was like a hard book, or what's it called? A hard cover book. So that's kind of bougie. But like I said, it was kind of an expensive thing to buy, so should be bougie. The model that I got is the A3500 High Performance Blender. And I got the reconditioned series. So I think that just means like it was refurbished or something like that. Like it's not all the way new, but, but pretty much because I actually bought it on Vitamix.com. So it's like, you know, vetted and everything. I've honestly been on a smoothie kick recently and I have been seeing so many like TikToks that show the Vitamix and how well it blends stuff. Like you don't even have to add liquid. There was one TikTok I saw where the blender just blended frozen bananas. My like $20 blender could never. So I was like, okay, I think it's time to invest in like a really nice blender. So this is what it looks like. It looks so fancy and nice. Now I'm gonna freaking clean up this place because it is 
literally trashed and maybe I'm dramatic, but also I'm like starving, but I don't want to eat before I clean. I want to clean first so I can literally just do nothing and just eat and chill on the couch and watch my Sunday vlog because that's literally my favorite thing to do on a Sunday is just to go through my subscription box. I feel like everyone posts on Sundays, which honestly that's why I kind of didn't want to post on Sundays because I wanted there to be like more content in case you guys watch YouTube on Mondays, but I don't know. Everyone said Sunday, so I think I'm gonna stick to the Sunday posting schedule. Since I didn't eat the healthiest this weekend, I thought it would be good to end the day with a salad, you know. Hopefully this will be good, and I'll actually like this salad, because that will be great. The base is gonna be spinach, gonna add some red bell pepper. These are cucumbers. I'm gonna add some mango. I think it's gonna be a good one. This whole time I've been watching Vitamix um, recipe videos and I also posted my Instagram and then uh, my TikTok. I feel like a lot of my TikToks do well on Sundays, so I try to like post my best stuff on Sundays. Ever since we finished Desperate Housewives, I feel like I don't really have a show to watch. Ryan's been watching Survivor, but it literally just reminded me of that temple game that Disney Channel had, or maybe it was Nickelodeon, I don't know. Um, but it was like some cheesy game. I just did not understand the hype of Survivor, but maybe I'll give it another shot one day. Love me some baby spinach. I think next time I'll probably get arugula just to switch it up. Um, but I feel like spinach is just good for like so many things. Like I now put it in my smoothies and my eggs and you can make salads with it. Literally like spinach is just so good for so many things. I feel like last week I ate at home a good amount, but there's still so much food that I bought last week that has not been touched and I'm like worried that it's gonna go bad. So I'm gonna really try this coming week to eat like especially like the fruits and veggies. I just hate when that kind of stuff goes bad and I really need to be more proactive with that stuff and like cut it up and like freeze it or something like that so I can use it later but I just never think of it. I'm really excited for my smoothies to be upgraded with this new Vitamix. I was watching some videos for smoothie recipes and there was this one like I think it was gin green mint juice or something or ginger I don't know but I bought ginger and I have mint so I was like that sounds really good and really refreshing and also just really healthy <laughs> so I'm very excited to use that probably use it tomorrow but I need to like figure it out first because there's some buttons on it that I'm just like I don't know what those mean I just used like half of the red bell pepper so I'm just gonna put the other half in a bowl so I can use it this week I got these little containers off of Amazon I just like wanted square not square but like rectangle um, glass containers because I've had plastic ones and whenever I put like curry or anything that can stain it it really stains it with the grease and everything like that it's really gross so I was just like I'm gonna get glass so I can clean it really nice and easily but yeah I'm gonna add some mango and some salad dressing and then that's gonna be my dinner but I'm gonna end the vlog here comment your favorite emoji if you made it to the end of this video I know a lot of people watch YouTube videos and don't leave comments all the time but it just means so much when I get comments, so leave a comment, honestly, of anything, but if you just want it to be simple and short, just an emoji, and I will see y'all in my next video. Bye!